Long ago, there were two species who lived amongst each other in peace. The humans and the wolves. All was well. The humans and the wolves coexisted between their two worlds. However, some humans did not like the wolves being in the human territory. One of these people being the human king. Although the king did not like the wolves, he tolerated them, that is, until the day his daughter fell in love with the wolf elder son. The king forbid his daughter from speaking to the wolf boy. However, she didn't listen. Her and the wolf boy would sneak out together and plan to run away to be together. The king found out about their plan and in turn killed the wolf in order to punish his daughter. The wolf elder had found out about his son's death and declared war on the humans. The wolves and the humans fought for years. One day, the princess went to the wolf elder and begged him to end the war. The elder knew ending the war for her would be what his son wanted. So he agreed. In order to stop the war, the wolves went back to the enchanted forest and the elder locked the door with a spell, never to be opened again. Anyways, that's enough for today. Why don't you all run along now and go home? Hmm, what is it, Percy? Um, what happened to the princess and the king? Good question. However, even I do not know the answer to that. I assume the only ones who would know would be the humans. I want to meet a human someday, so I can ask! That would be something. However, the story is merely just a legend. Nobody knows if it is true or not. Well, if it's true, I'm gonna do it. Well, good luck with that, young one. You don't want to meet a human, Percy. Why? Because they'll cook you up. No, they won't. Your brother is right, Percy. Be careful. Humans, according to legend, are dangerous. I'm a human and I'm gonna cook you! <laughs> Percy is such a good pup. He'll be a great pack leader someday. Here, you little mutt! Leave me alone, Dorian! I told you not to eat all those fish. I can't help it. Ugh. I love fish. Do you hear that? Hear what? I'm going to kill you! <laughs> no! Looks like Percy messed with Dorian again. Good luck, Percy!
What is going on here? I... Percy snuck up behind me and pulled my tail. Again! Is this true, Percival? Yeah. Now, what do you have to say to your brother? I'm sorry. <sighs> Fine. Now, Dorian, can you give Percy and I a moment? Ah, <sighs> fine. So, uh, what do you want to talk about? Your future, Percy. You are to be the pack leader someday. You need to mature. Someday, this entire pack will look up to you. You can't keep goofing off and irritating your brother like this. Wait, why am I supposed to be the pack leader? Dorian's older. Dorian does not have the qualities to be a leader. He gets frustrated far too easily. You, on the other hand, you're pure. You're understanding. You're likable. But your brother is just... unstable. I... I... Go home now. And do not tell your brother about this conversation. So, what did you two talk about? Oh, um, nothing really. I'm heading out now. <sighs> I'll be back later. Oh, uh, alright. Percy. What's up, Percy? Hey, guys. What's up? You sound stressed. What? Oh, nothing. Uh, just something on my mind, that's all. Well, enough feelings. Come on, let's eat. <laughs> Alright, I'll get the fish. Well, hello. I can't believe this. What's wrong? That stupid little mud is wrong. Percy? Yes, Percy. Everything is always about Percy. All right. Calm down and tell me what's wrong or get out. My stupid little brother. He's getting everything I've always wanted. What do you mean? <laughs> Pack leader. He's... he's gonna be pack leader! Well, good for him. Why'd you even want to be a pack leader anyways? It's so much responsibility. Because of the power. Being in charge. Please, Amber. If anyone can help me get what's rightfully mine, it's you. And why should I help you? It's not like you're very nice to me. Oh, please. I know you're only with me because I was supposed to be the leader. You're gonna help me whether or not. Because you also want that power. <laughs> hmm, good point. Mm, well, there is one way, but I don't even know if it'll work. What is it? I'm willing to try anything. Well, according to ancient legends, every hundred years, the stars align above the goddess statue, and a doorway opens at the foot of the statue. So, I should lure him there. And push him in. If that's really what you want, you'll have to do it tonight. Otherwise, you won't get another chance. Hmm. It's perfect. There won't be a body. It'll be as if he just... disappeared. If you're gonna do this, legend says that the doorway opens when the moon is at its highest. 
and only one person can enter it before it closes. <laughs> Perfect. If you do this, you'll lose your brother forever. The only family you have left. Percy is not my brother. He's just a pest in my life. I'll do anything to get what's mine. And that's why I love you. But you better get going. The moon will be at its highest soon. Oh, uh, hey, Dor. Hey, Percy. Do you mind following me? So we can talk? Um, sure. Ah, we're here. Look at the moon. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So high up. Yeah, it'll be at its highest in the moment. It's my favorite part of the night. Mine too. Especially tonight. What the? Beautiful. It sure is. <laughs> wow. So, earlier today, I heard what you and the Elder talked about. W what? You betrayed me, and then you lied about it to my face. Dorian, I am so sorry. I would have told you, but the Elder told me not to. <laughs> it's alright, little brother. I understand. You, you do? Yes. We're brothers. Of course I understand. Oh, I guess the Elder was wrong. So, what is this exactly? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, brother! <laughs> happened. What? Where am I? Where's the statue? Dorian? Where are you? I must have fallen into the water. This doesn't look like the Enchanted Forest. <laughs> <laughs> 